Okay, picking up from where we left off in the last clip, we can see that we got some UI elements onto our page. It's not looking very pretty right now because we've not created the resource records for the labels, and we've got some fields on here that we won't need. And right now we're going to go back into Visual Studio. We're going to take a look at that code that was generated and figure out the parts we're going to need. Now we don't need module good, populating that without user intervention. We do need the name, we need the email address, the location, the website URL, the comment. We don't need to show them the created date, and we don't need to show them the IP address. So we've got the basics here. Now let's fix our labels. Okay, so basically we've got this helper control, module portal site label, that will look up uh, from a config fee, uh, key in our resource file guestbook resources, which we, I believe, created previously. And if we go back to resources, guestbook resources, and we put the key in, and then we just put in the label that we want. And then we go back and we get the next one. And this is so we can make our feature lo localizable, so that it can be translated into other languages easily. Okay, and then if we build, it redeploys the files when we build, so we need to do that even if we haven't changed actual code. And then we refresh the page, we should be looking a little better, there's probably more we need to do. Now we've got these numbers here that I don't really want, um, it's because we're using an ordered list, I thought I had already updated the CSS, yes I did, okay, I just needed to refresh it to clear it. So we're getting there. I mean, it's, it's kind of wide text boxes and stuff. You know, the comment field, we might like a text area, or actually a WYSIWYG is probably what we, we might want there. We might want to drop that WYSIWYG down below the comment label. Um, so let's go ahead and add a row with a button. Let's see if we can get some functionality going here. So we go back to our guest book, and we will create another list item setting row and in here we'll put sp button uh, ID is button submit and add server and that's it and we want to localize this guy in our populate labels and what we want to do is use a resource key here And then our code behind, we can go yes, but resources dot submit button. And now we need to hook up a, a click event for this guy. So we just go in here. And if I go plus equals and then just tab, it'll stub out the method for me. And I'll bring it down somewhere where I think it's more reasonable. It'll be like right here. Um, now we could uh, we could just call our save method from there. And we want to get out of postback after the button. Uh, we, we may Ajax file this later, but for now we could do uh, web details setup redirect this. 
And that will just get us back out of Postback. So if they refresh the page, it won't uh, resubmit the form. So we won't see the data yet because we don't have anywhere in the user interface to see it. But we can uh, tr try and post and see if we get some data in the database for a start. So we'll go ahead and refresh this page. All right, so we we'll put in Joe. And we'll click Submit. And we see that the redirect worked. We don't really have any user feedback to say thank you yet. But we can go look in our database now, any tutorial database. And we'll take a look in our guestbook table. Just make sure, hey, we got a row in there. So we persisted data to the database. So we we're making progress. And we will continue to refine this in the next clip. Thanks for listening.